Theriogenologist. I was one and didn't even know it. A specialist in animal reproduction, an ovary observer, a diddler of the zygote, one who has devoted his life to preserving pregnancy, a cow plumber. Included in this broad field are embryo transplanters, infertility detectives, artificial inseminators, and others identified by their green fingernails and white socks. Those folks who practice this profession are an unusual group. They don't wear a tie to work. They approach their business like professional football players, knowing when the game is over, they're gonna look a whole lot worse. But there are dangers, although most injuries are more damaging to one's self-esteem. Like Gary, a struggling newlywed who was doing artificial insemination to enhance his meager graduate student income, he arrived at the farm with only one plastic sleeve. It lasted for five cows. Gritting his teeth, he approached cow number six and palpated her bare-handed. Gruesome, perhaps, to the non-cow person, but an accepted alternative to the dedicated theriogenologist. As he began his treasure hunt in the final cow, he must have said something unprofessional because she kicked him on the inside of the thigh. He was elbow deep in the cow at the time, and she clamped down on his arm as he fell to the ground, writhing in pain. Driving home that evening, in stinking agony, he made a terrifying discovery. He had lost his untarnished, two-month-old, 24-carat, five-month payment plan, once-in-a-lifetime, extravagant, solid gold wedding ring inside the cow. Well, the next morning, he returned to the farm, armed with a metal detector, and was seen wandering through the field for days, going from patty to patty, like a beachcomber high on propane fumes. Well, the bride was not happy. The mother-in-law was vindicated, however, since she had warned her daughter not to marry someone who makes a living that no one can pronounce. This is Baxter Black. Come in there.